Uh, our team coverage on the coronavirus continues now. Nearly 200,000 people in the U.S. have died from the virus. Kate Francis is back now with the latest information for us. This is just an, an awful, awful milestone we're approaching, Kate. Yeah, it's really unfortunate, Nicole. You know, there's uh, new numbers that have come out this morning, ha heartbreaking eight months after the pandemic began here in the U.S. That new data released is showing age is in fact a risk factor. So is gender. Men with underlying conditions such as diabetes and obesity are also much more likely to die. And racial and ethnic disparities also play a role. We're going to see more severe illness and we're going to see more deaths. However, I don't think it is going to be as catastrophic as the spring, if only because of the fact in the spring we had no idea really what we were dealing with, and there was completely inadequate testing. As of Friday here in Connecticut, cases totaled 55,527 deaths, totaled 4,000 492. That's all since the start of the pandemic. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll take a look at the projections for here in the country. I'm Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.